Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you Scratch best GUI mode, Turbo App. So Turbo App is a Scratch mode that compiles your Scratch projects into JavaScript and make them run really fast and smooth. And it has really very cool features. So let's get started. So you could simply go to this website by typing turboapp.org and then they will give you a page like this and then you could click on file and new. And then click on see inside. And then it will bring you to a page like this. So this is really like Scratch but it has way more cool features and it also has a Turbo App Packager so you could click on help and go for Turbo App Packager So it has a Turbo App Packager that converts your Scratch project to HTML files and more so I'll make videos on how to use this Packager so for now, let's talk about the features. So you could code Turbo App online. Oh, there's an offline desktop app. For that, click on Help and click on Turbo App Desktop. And then choose your OS and install. So in this video, we're going to talk about the features of Best Scratch GUI mode Turbo App. So let's get started. So here okay, I have downloaded and installed the latest version of Turbo Web up to date. So it's version 4.0. So our first feature is dark mode. So as you know the scratch offline editor is not compatible with dark mode. So if you want to get dark mode to your online editor make sure you check out my video on how to enable dark mode on scratch online editor link is on the description below so on your turbo web online or offline editor you could simply change from light to dark or dark to light mode by simply clicking on this moon icon and now you can see you the turbo app is now on dark mode so it's really simple and if you want to switch to light mode just click on icon again so it's really cool. So number two, hidden blocks. So now we can see these three blocks are uh, hidden blocks that you have never seen on Scratch. But these blocks are compatible with Scratch. So you save your file and now you can see I'm on Scratch. So now you can see these blocks are also compatible with Scratch. So, our first block is wild. So now I build up a code to show you what it happens. So, by this, you will only move while clicking the button. So, this is really, really useful. So our second block is for each. So this block is usually used in line coding and this is a loop block. And now you can see it works. So you could change this well as to smaller value to make it run slower or you could change it to a higher value to run it really fast. So you could click on this and select the variables. It's my variable. We could just select I. So our next block is compile. So this block can detect is this project running on Scratch or is it running on Turbo App. For that, simply grab a forever and if else statement. Then 
as they say. Chihuahua. El say squatch. And now when you run the project, you can see it's Chihuahua. And then if you save your project and then open it on scratch and then you can see it will say scratch so this is a really cool block and if you click on extensions you will find an extension named turbo web block so these are two new blocks and hidden but make sure to remember these two blocks are not compatible with scratch so this is the last key pressed so this can detect your last key pressed on your keyboard and this could detect what mouse button did you press so it can be primary, middle, or secondary. So number three, advanced. So you will find this tab called advanced and if you click on that, then you will get a tab like this, it says advanced. So you will get this WAP timer clicked on. So WAP timer makes your scripts check if they are stuck in a long or infinite loop and run at a low frame rate so this would make your project run really smooth so I have opened a project called candy clicker so click on advanced and you could turn on 60 fps so what this does is it would run your script 60 times frame per second so normally scratch runs on 30 rate per second so make sure so this one run in some scratch projects or you could click on edit and turn on and off and if you have turn on 60 fps mode next to the stop block you will find 60 fps and now if I run the project, now you can see our project runs really smooth. So our next setting is high quality pen. So what this does it increases your scratch pen quality. So for now I will keep it disabled and I open my drawing app. So if you want to make a drawing app, make sure to check out the video link on the description. So this is with Squatch normal pen and then click on advanced and tick high quality pen and then you will see it just increases the quality of the pen and if you look closely you could see the difference between the turbo app and Squatch. So scratch pen has a little blur right effect. So our next feature is infinite clones. So this feature is useful when you are making more larger games with more clones. So by clicking this it would disable scratch clone limit which is 300. So it's really useful once to make really big games. So our next feature is remove fencing. On scratch you will see when you 
sprite moves to the end, it gets stuck in the ball. But when you click on this, remove fencing and run your project and then you will see your sprite would go off the screen. So it would change your X and Y position to a really large amount. So your sprite won't get stuck on the wall, it just keep moving. So next feature is custom stage dice. So another video on how to make a mobile app, I used a website called Seed Tester which has a custom resolution where could you change the state size of the states. So in Turbo App, to click on advanced settings, you get this feature called custom stage size. So by this, you could change your custom stage size to like anything. So with Turbo App, you could just change your custom stage size without using any app. So now you can see you could just change the size of the stage just using Turbo app. So next feature is Scratch Add-on. So this is an incredible feature. So you could use Scratch Add-on in Turbo app in online or offline as a part of it. So you click on Add-ons and it will load a tab like this. So you could enable or disable any add-on by simply clicking on it. So Scratch Add-on is an awesome feature. So Scratch Add-on is an awesome tool with many awesome features like dark mode, dark mode, post button, scratch cat blocks, developer tools, and more. So some of that on I would recommend is to use on your offline editor is developer tool. So make sure you enable and reload it and then you get this fine option and then you could get the and then click on right click and then you get the feature for copy cut so if you just copy all and and you could also paste your blocks so this is a really useful feature and the next thing would be block switching. So make sure you enable this and tick all and reload and then by simply right clicking it you could switch your block. This is a very useful feature for most of the coders, so I feel it very useful. So this is a really useful tool. So our next feature is change username. So you could simply click on edit and change username. And then type your username and then you could change your username as well. So 
this is a really awesome tool. So our next feature is Backpack. So Backpack is a really useful tool that is included on Scratch Online Editor but not included on the Scratch Offline Editor. But, but with Turbo App you could just use Backpack Offline. So Backpack is a really useful tool that can be used to storing storing a set of code or a costume and even a sprite so you can store them in your backpack and use them wherever you want so, and you could even delete and rename it. so that's it for today's video and I'll be making more videos on Turbo Lab so I hope you learned something and if you like this video make sure to give the video a like and if you like to get more updates from this channel make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon and if you find this video interesting make sure you share it with your friends so see you with another awesome scratch tutorial